Yes, yes, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Star Wars update as a whole because I think it's been one disappointing ass update, especially compared to the updates we've had previously. Because when it comes to Star Wars updates, Fortnite has a long history of producing banging updates. I've enjoyed every single one of them that I've played. Fair dues, I've not played every single one they've released because I've taken breaks throughout the years, but every one that I have played, I've thoroughly enjoyed. But this one is definitely an exception to that. Because I don't know whether it's just me being a boring player or just not enjoying the game as much, but when it comes to the Star Wars update, I just feel like they haven't done anything. Like, yeah, they've added two new NPCs, they've had a Chewbacca and Darth Vader, they're the only two like important things that have been added. It just feels like Chewbacca and Darth Vader are the only two important things that have been added in this update, which is a shame because there's so much they could have done. They could have added like force abilities again, they could have brought back all the lightsabers instead of just one with Darth Vader, that you have to only have one per match, which is just not fair really. Because that's one thing that I was really looking forward to making a return, I was there praying, mate, every night before I went to bed I was praying to God that they were going to bring back force abilities, but they didn't and it really upset me because I was thinking, bro, it's Star Wars, bring back force abilities, we've just had the avatar update with the avatar mythics which was sick so let's bring some of these in and it'll be even more amazing to continue the year on when it comes to chewbacca i like what they've done to be fair you know you go in fight some you know stormtroopers and you get chewbacca and he's going to be your friend for the rest of the match i get that when it comes to darth vader and the lightsaber i really don't understand because why wouldn't they just add more lightsabers to the match instead of one because in my mind it feels like the infinity blade just minus 10 times the power well, the perfect way to do it would have been to have multiple Star Wars NPCs around the maps with their own personal lightsabers. You go defeat them, then you get them, and then we could play on the game with our own lightsabers, with their own abilities. You know what I mean? Like they've done before, but for some reason, this update, they've just seemed to not care as much. It's like, I know firsthand when an update isn't that good, it means players drop off. Like me, personally, since the Avatar update ended, which I thoroughly enjoyed, and the Star Wars updates came in, it's been a bit lackluster and a bit dead. I've played 100% less, like I've played so much less. Which, once again, is a great shame, because I was really looking forward to the Star Wars update. I was thought oh it's a new star wars update they might be doing something different this time they might you know bring some cool things in but here we are when it comes to this star wars update i feel like it's just lackluster and a bit dead because just every other update has been pretty sick so far this year but then this comes in and it feels like it's added nothing to the game because there's no new places to land either and that really annoys me because in lego fortnite when the death star came out of the sky and crashed i was really hoping it would incorporate that into the battle royale so we'd have like a crash spaceship that would be mint and also, when it comes to the item shop, they just seem to have added every single Star Wars skin back into the shop. There's no exclusivity anymore. There was no new real, like, drive to buy any of these skins. Because I just know for a fact they're all going to come back next time a Star Wars update comes out. Which isn't going to be long at all because it's Fortnite, you know. Fortnite, I'm married to Star Wars at this point. There's always, like, one or two coming out a year. So, minimum, I'm going to have to wait is, like, another six or seven months. Which is ridiculous as it is. But I think that might be the problem now, Fortnite. Maybe we have had Star Wars in the game too many times. Are you running out of ideas? Is that it? That, you know, I'm not, so I'm not, I'm not coming for you, Epic but that might be it it's just a little bit upsetting you know because when it comes to star wars i know that they can do amazing things with updates they can actually bring in some amazing weapons that are going to make the season even better but this one it just feels like they've completely forgotten about it especially with the new season coming out in only a few weeks maybe they have just been like this is a filler update to get people through till the new season and we won't care that much about it but it's really upsetting man because i was really looking forward to it but don't get me wrong a few things they've added are pretty fun like the wookie bowcaster is actually pretty sick when you get a headshot with that and it explodes their head it's pretty sick it is cool but is it going to keep people playing the game? God no, it's never going to do that. But I do think that this update is 1000% the worst one they've done this year. I feel like we were on a good run since January. I was playing most days. But this Star Wars update, it's just become a bit dead. And this season's become a bit dead now, I won't even lie. It might not just be the Star Wars update, it might just be the season. Thankfully, it's coming to an end though soon. So we're going to get something brand new. I can't wait for a new map, new season, new everything. I just need to change, you know what I mean? I've been playing the, the uh, Mythics and Gods map for too long now. And I just want something new. And I do think that I've done this to myself by just loving the Avatar update too much because as soon as it ended, man, I was heartbroken. Everything left. We had the wheels. Oh, my God. It was so sick. I, I'm not going to get onto that because this whole channel is just me talking about the Fortnite Avatar update. And another reason I think Epic have just given up with the end of the season is because they've left all the Avatar shrines in. And it's just like, if they really cared about this whole season and the end of the season and what we're doing right now in the game, then they would have just removed them as well because to make the map, you know, more progressive and not just stale and staying in the past. But for some reason, we've kept the Avatar shrines, which, you know, baffles me i just do think that they're waiting for the new season to do anything important with the game now because i think not many people are playing when it comes to the season at the moment because it's been it's been around for a while now and we're coming to the end and everyone's gas for next season like me bro i cannot wait for it because i just want to change like i said man but yeah that has been my opinion on the star wars update so far to me it's been a pretty dead update nothing special has stood out to me so far i've barely played it, i won't even lie because it just doesn't entice me as much but if you did enjoy the video please do like subscribe comment do any of that before you leave and i shall see you in a bit peace